Welcome to the Master Tech Lou channel. I am Lou and today I am playing with an Ansel S200 smoke machine. What is a smoke machine? Uh, if you're here for a review, you probably know why you need a smoke machine and what it's for, but let me show you what I'm doing with it. So, battery powered right to the machine. I got it set to smoke. I pulled off the line from the purge valve to the line that goes back to the tank just for video purposes. And I pulled off the fuel cap. And what we have coming out of here is smoke. That is how you find leaks in fuel systems to cars when you have EVAP codes for purge valves and canister shutoff valves. That is how we find leaks. All right, so let's me, let me show you what comes in this thing. They do have another model, the S300. Hopefully I can work my way into that. Open this up. So it comes with the actual smoke machine. All right, you got fan mode, you got smoke mode. That's where you plug in the power. That's where the tube comes out. The smoke comes through the tube to come out of here. This is where you fill the smoke. There's a hook that goes up in there. There's a sight glass in the back to see how full you are. Plenty of cabling. It's the power supply. Here's the hose for the smoke output. You use this guy to plug in, pump it up. This will seal the port but it has a hole through the center so you can actually induce smoke. So if I were to test a gas cap or like an intake tube, you shove this into the tube, block it off, then pump smoke in here. Very easy. So you don't have to find caps and hoses and stuff to close systems off. It comes with a replacement bag. We'll call it airbag. We've got the hook. We've got a valve core. We also have an additional Oh, this is an attachment for some cars that have an EVAP test port. You unscrew the cap and you screw this guy right on there. What else we got in there? We got a couple of different fittings to shove into holes and then shove the hose through it so you can block off and then induce smoke into it. When you're working on cars today, with turbos and superchargers and intercoolers and all kinds of piping and purge valves and uh, differential pressure valves and uh, so many vacuum lines, all has to do with emissions. The reason we use smoke machines is because if there's a fine air leak, let's say you're working on a, uh, a 1986 something or other with throttle body injection, right? You spray a little bit of carb clean and the engine revs up, you know you got a leak there, right? Uh, or you spray a little bit of brake clean and the engine revs up or dies down, you know you got a leak where it's sucking in uh, the, um, the carb cleaner or, or starter fluid or whatever. However, in cars today, there's so many lines and attachments and connections that you can't really just spray to find a vacuum leak anymore. So you've got to use a smoke machine it induces smoke into the system. And obviously wherever you see smoke is where it's leaking. You can use it to test intake systems. You can use it to test fuel evaporative systems. Uh, how I would diagnose this if there were a leak right now is I would use the machine and I would put it into the gas cap and induce smoke. The smoke would come all the way up to the line that leads to the purge valve and the purge valve stops the vapors from coming through until the engine module actuates it. So if the purge valve was sticking open, I would have smoke coming out of the purge valve, which would help me diagnose the leak. Also, we can cap off the fuel tank, see if smoke comes out of the cap, letting you know that it's venting and it shouldn't be venting. Or also, uh, you can check around the fuel tank where the fuel pump seals to see if smoke is coming out. So basically, we put smoke into a closed system to see if it's actually leaking out. Now, they also have a pressure gauge on there. So this helps you determine if there's a leak. You can hit the fan mode to just blow straight air. So let me take this out of this line. So right now, all it's blowing is air out. It's not heating up the oil. If I cap it off, 
see it's building pressure. If we can build pressure, we know we don't have a leak in that system. Or if it's only building so much pressure, we know we have a fine leak in the system, right? So there is no leak and there's a fine leak and then there's absolutely leak, all right? Now what we can do is induce smoke. I actually ran out of smoke, so I went ahead and took it off the car. So here, putting out smoke. All right, that's gonna fill the system that you got plugged with smoke. So when you see the air leak, or when you see the smoke coming out, that's where your leak is at. We actually just used that smoke machine to diagnose a leaking intake valve. Let me show you this engine we have over here. So we have this cylinder head torn apart. What we had done was, let me get this guy out of here. We pulled the spark plug out of cylinder one. We put the compression tester in there. We hooked the smoke machine up to this tube and then we pressurized it and waited. And the smoke actually came through the intake valve, through the intake port. It actually leaked right back through the valve, right out of the intake port. Out of the intake port, back to the throttle body, and out of the air filter housing. So that little smoke machine helped us diagnose a cylinder head for a mixture adaptation code it uh it kind of saved the day because you can hear air by doing a leak down when uh when we do a leak down test we're testing to see where air is leaking through whether it be an intake valve exhaust valve or piston rings with smoke you can actually see it come through which helps diagnosis because we can make a video to show the warranty company this is why we need a cylinder head it's leaking through that cylinder through the valve right so this helps a lot there's not much more I can show you with the smoke machine. Cause again, if you're here looking for a smoke machine, you pretty much know why you need one and why you would use it. You're just looking to see if this one's gonna work for you. I like the compact size of it. It's very simplistic. Our other smoke machine is a huge cart with a hose and a, and a, a big old tank cylinder on it. Um, this fits in the toolbox. It's uh, very inexpensive. I'll leave the link down below with a coupon code for you guys. I'm not trying to sell this to you. I'm just doing a review on it. I like this thing. I'm glad I have it. I'm going to make multiple uses on it. We use vacuum lines in all of our engines on Mercedes. Um, even the older cars use vacuum lines for the locks and the soft close and the trunk opening. So it's good to know where you see smoke coming out of, you know where to find the leak at, right? It makes it very easy to find the leak. That's the purpose of smoke. You can hear it all day long, but with smoke it leads you to the issue, right? So, uh, hey guys, hit the subscription, hit the notification, check out all my other review videos, check out my how-to videos. I try to give out uh, helpful hints and tidbits to all the things about cars, uh, mainly Mercedes stuff. That's what I do day to day. But um, if I get other cars in here and have issues that I wanna share with you, I'll share it. But uh, I don't try to sell these things to you guys. I just, I just want to um, give you my opinion and show you how they work so you can make an educated decision yourself. I'm an indecisive buyer. That's why I got into reviews is because I want to know why I would use it. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, me and myself, I'm a Mercedes Benz dealer tech and I've been working on cars for 20 plus years. So I have experience in cars. I have reasons why you would need these kinds of things. Um, I don't make money off of these if you buy them. They send me the product free of charge. I do the review, end of transaction. Um, I told them that I will not buy a product in hopes of a refund because I don't want to have to give a positive review. Of course, no one wants a negative review. I've yet to do one. Um, this thing I like. I hope you're interested in it. They also have like an, an adapter upgrade kit to where you can splice this line and put in another flow meter and it'll show you the flow coming through where the, that shows pressure, but there's also a flow meter. So uh, I believe that's the S300 option they have, or you can just buy this to upgrade this one, right? So, um, uh, hey, my name is Lou. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me in the comments if you got any questions or whatnot. I'll try to answer them, but um, I'm going to use this thing as much as I can. 
I did put baby oil in there. That's they say you can use baby oil. I think I'm gonna clear that out and just use actual smoke juice because uh, the baby oil leaves like a film. And if you watch any of my other videos, I don't like to get messy. That's why I'm wearing gloves with this kind of thing because there's everything's kind of has like a slight oil to it. And I don't want to induce oil vapors into a system that shouldn't have oil vapors. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that you can use baby oil. Don't use scented. Use just basic old petroleum baby oil. But um, me myself, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the smoke juice, but that's just me rambling again. But uh, hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you end up buying one and what you use it for. Uh, thanks a lot.